Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Erosium and in today's video we are going to be getting the Garrison Follower Admiral Taylor. This is for inscription so it will really really help your inscription buildings. Um, this will basically just allow you to have more work orders and allow your, uh, your building for your inscription to get through the war paints that much quicker. It will also allow you to obviously um, have the maximum of five days on your work orders, which just makes you overall much, much more efficient. So let's get into it. The first things first, fly from your garrison over to um, Spires of Iraq, and then start the quest called The Shadows of Scatters. There is no quicker way than what I'm doing right now to get the actual garrison followers so you are going to have to do this quest line and it's uh, it does take 20 minutes or so but once that's done you know you never have to do it on that character again and the 20 minutes is well worth spent when you consider that you only have to log in every five days instead of every four days to basically restock all of your work orders that saves you so much time it's unreal so the 20 minutes is worth it in the long run at first you might be like oh the uh, longest 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> but it's okay, guys. It's all right. Don't worry. It, it, it goes quite quickly. So, obviously, you pick up that quest. That starts the quest chain uh, with these kind of bird people. I don't really know what they are. Don't, don't, you, I'm, I'm not a WoW dictionary. <laughs> all right. Then we are literally just going to go through, straight through this quest line. I'm not going to make you watch the entire quest line. But you just have to follow and do every single quest that they give you until you, you basically reach... Um, their kind of little village over here, and that's when the next stage of this is complete. So I'm going to get a bunch of these quests done, and uh, I'll talk you through each step as and when it's done. With that initial quest completed, I can now hand those in, and it should send me to go kill a boss, which is just over here. It's not too difficult, and then we'll start to work our way through this section here, just picking each quest chain, uh, you know, up as, as we go and just completing it. As I say, it does only take you a, a, about 20 minutes all in all just to complete the uh, the initial quest chain. And then unfortunately after that you have a second quest chain, uh, which is for Admiral Taylor's, which luckily that only takes about 10 minutes in all honesty. This this is so worth it in the long run when you're just thinking about you know your time efficiency. Would you prefer to, to spend 20 minutes now so that you don't have to spend hours later? You know, would you prefer to spend 20 minutes now so you can increase your your gold earnings by like 50%? You know, but just not from the inscription building. I, I think I think as an overall, it makes a lot of sense to get this, and I would. Now it is worth noting that if you're doing this quest chain, you you can only do this at level 96, which is fine because you know you need to level up to. Um, to 111 anyway, just for the efficiency of doing the uh, the level three barn. Uh, you can just start this at level 90. You know the, the general garrison, you know gold making methods, and you, you will uh, accrue basically. Um, you will accrue a lot of experience. It should get you to about level 95, and at level 95, I just jumped into a quick dungeon, got one levels worth. And then at level 96, I started the um, the quest to get Pleasurebot 9000, which is your tailoring follower for the garrison. And, and if you want to do that, I do have a video on that already on my channel. So just search for, for that, you'll find it. But basically, you can find that quest chain just here. And all you do is just do one quest, kill a bunch of zappers, and then come back here, hand it in, and, and you get the follower super easily like that. Um, but yeah, watch that video because uh, there is a little tip in there that is going to massively help you in that. Uh, so we've got to fly down here right now and go speak to the crone and give him the password, which is totally fine. Let's get it done. So once you've gone ahead and you've done you know, a bunch of the quests and you've done a protection quest around here, I believe you have to d defend one of the guys. You killed a bunch of bats, the Echo Hunters, I think they're called. You'll be told to kill Sun Talon Oberix, so so he can actually be found from a really small cave entrance. So do just bear in mind that he is uh, he is a, he is a little bit tricky to find sometimes, and I, I know I struggled the first time I uh, I tried to find him. There is just something you need to be careful of here is that he releases that um, shuriken just there, and you need to be just a bit smart about how you play uh, with that because it can be really annoying to deal with. Uh, but just pop all your, your cooldowns on him and as a level 96 you should be able to handle him fairly fairly easily so another 
shuriken and you just have to move it the heck out of the way of those otherwise they're going to hit you quite hard but this is fairly easy as kind of boss fights go and just keep yourself alive and eventually he's just uh, knocked down get out of the way of that shuriken okay so he should be dead just now boom and he's done okay so we got that and we can finally finish these sections I believe we're gonna be able to go down to the village which is awesome that's gonna be really good that will uh, that will allow us to move on to the second part of this oh gosh okay now with that done we just gonna hand in all of these quests there should be three to hand in follower for our garrison so that's gonna really improve our gold now the reason um, I say you have to do this quest chain in order to get to the next part is because there's a prisoner here called Jasper Fell and Jasper Fell's quest won't appear until you've done this. It's just the way it works. So let's complete quest there. Then the quest appears, as you can see. Jasper Fell. He's kind of a prisoner at the second. We've got to convince this this guy over here. We've got to let them do their talking first. Then we've got to convince them to let him go. Okay, now he's done that. We should be able to say, Your prisoner is with me. He means your people no harm. And then Jasper Fell gets released. He'll then say, come talk to me in Southport. You simply jump onto your mount and you run over or fly over to Southport, which is just here. And you'll be basically, you'll have to do the next part of the quest, which is choose your, your type of building that you want built there and uh, give that that order. Once that's done, you unlock the quest to go to Admiral Taylor's garrison and find out what happened to him, like your Sherlock Holmes in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Okay, so we've just handed in the quest to Jasper Fell to come speak to him. You'll notice that there's this random building here with, which is of no use to you. You need to build something here before you can move on to the next stage of the quest. So simply speak to the commander here and he'll say orders commander, grab that quest. Then click this table here and decide what you want. It doesn't matter what you what you want or what, whatever, choose either one and then your next part of the quest will unlock. Excellent, orders commander is complete and you see a quest appears now with Jasper Phil. Speak to Jasper Phil at Admiral Taylor's garrison. Okay, so simply fly over here and it's quite short flight to here where it says old friends. Um, Admiral Taylor's garrison is just here. It's quite a small section of land so it is going to be fairly easy for you to uh, to deal with this okay now we are here we're just going to speak to jasper fell and he's going to tell us to find a sch schematics from some laborers so all we have to do now is just kill a bunch of laborers and uh, one of them will drop the schematics and it, it's usually about four to five you have to kill in order to get it i have been lucky before and got it on one i've done this now on nine characters so uh, i feel very experienced in this particular quest chain of, of events and I've gotten quite quick at getting it completed. It's just, it's a shame that, you know, on certain characters it's harder than others. I can see this, this Shaman, for example, isn't as well geared as some of my other characters. And I know when uh, when I get my warrior, warrior to this point, it's gonna be a, a little too easy versus the Shaman, it's, it's taking a little bit more work. I probably just don't have the right specs on and stuff, the right talents, but, Either way, we're getting it done, and it's uh, it's getting done. Okay, there we go. We got the schematics. Okay, now Brian Finn, you hand that in to him once he's woken up, and he'll sell, tell you to go gather a bunch of spectral essence, and then go into the inn and wake a lady up in there. So we're going to do that. Now we've got to kill a bunch of these uh, like kind of guards of the uh, of the garrison, and they're, they're quite easy to kill in all honesty. Um, but anything in here will drop it. It's not just, you know, the, the guards. It can be anyone, really. So just kill them and get all the essence you need. Okay, and we finally got it. Um, upon getting the spectral essence, you need to just run into this inn just here. And run straight upstairs, and it's the room straight ahead. There we go. You speak to this lovely lady here, Alice Finn. Absolutely lovely. Lovely lady. And she'll give you a quest to go into the basement and kill a horrific aberration, which is quite easy. Go down into the basement, which is just past the kitchen area. Kill this 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 lovely, weird gentleman down here. Once he's dead, you can just simply run back up the stairs and Alice Finn will be waiting for quite an easy fight. Overall, you just tank and spank, spank and tank, tank and spank, spank and tank. With that fight complete, you then just run back up the stairs and Alice Finn is waiting for you. 
hand in that quest and, and she will say go to speak to Sir Edward at the garrison. So, simply go over to the garrison, which I will show you just here. Let me just heal up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to jump on my, uh, my flying mount here. And the garrison is just this building here. That's the town hall and this is the garrison. Oh, we're getting shot. I'm going to fly up a bit so I can use aggro of that. Excellent, and then we're just going to fly straight into here. And we just need to wake up these two here. Kill eight garrison traitors, and then recover ten iron coat cannibals. There's a little trick with this, makes it nice and, nice and easy, nice and quick. Simply run around the side of this building, and you will find that there is a mass of cannibals just here uh, for waiting for you to collect. So if you just collect those, makes the quest go that much quicker. With those guys dead, we can now loot these cannibals. And it's given us five in one, so that was really worth fighting a couple guards, considering we had to fight them anyway. Straight from there, I want you to go straight and work your way over to here, because you're going to need to loot the, uh, the actual cannon itself. Uh, so if you just go around that route that I've just shown you, kind of turn right out the building, go around, um, it will lead you around to this cannon just here, and you can kind of get the quest done in the most efficient way possible. So you see, I'm, I'm having to kill a few traitors here and there, which is completely fine. So let's kill these two, and then we can take this cannon, which is just in front of the town hall. Okay, now once we've got the cannon, we simply just need to grab a couple more cannibals. All right, now he's finally decided to leave us alone. We can carry on with the quest. Get the last couple cannibals from this little crate here, this wagon crate thing, and then simply run into here and hand in these two quests. This will give you the final quest, which is go and find Admiral Taylor. Yeah. I have found you. Quest. Please work. Okay, let's try again. It's a very buggy quest. I'm going to try and uh, abandon it and re-pick it up. Fantastic, it worked this time. <laughs> there we go, we found him and now you're going to have to kill two people. Um, Admiral Taylor is going to transform into a big old skeleton. You're going to have to kill him dead in the face. And then you're going to have to kill the, uh, the, the Valkyrie witch guy behind him. Um, so we'll, we'll do that in a second. Okay, so he's just turned into the witch, and now you're going to have to fight Admiral Taylor's other form. Which is all good, just pop all your cooldowns, because it's quite an easy fight in all honesty. Well, I think it is. Okay, he's turning to that abomination. Here we go. Let's get it. And just pop all your cooldowns, just to make it nice and easy for yourself. And he should go down quite quickly. There you go. Then swap to the the nasty over here and, and destroy him. Doesn't take too long. He dies even quicker. Okay, and he is dead. So now Admiral Taylor will allow you to complete the quest. He'll say, come speak to me at Southport. So we're going to go speak to him at Southport. And then we will be given Admiral Taylor as your garrison follower. Wow, we've nearly got another level just from this quest chain. Goes to show that just getting these uh, these extra garrison followers does get you to the right level. I want to get all my characters to basically eventually 111 um, so that we can farm the wolves in Nagrand super easily for, uh, for the extra 400 gold per day. Uh, but yeah, let's complete that, honoring a hero, and then you'll find that Admiral Taylor becomes your follower. Done. Let's get back to the garrison and activate him as our follower. And then you simply go over to your architect table, click inscription, click assign follower and put Admiral Taylor. And you will find that he will start working there and the amount of work orders that you can have has now been greatly increased. Meaning that you can be far more efficient with your overall gold earnings for your garrison. Now I just need to basically get enough resources now. And I will be able to upgrade this to level 3 since now I am level 98. That will uh, that unlocks for me, which is great. Garrison level 3 you can get when you get to level 100. It is the barn which you need to be level 98 in order to unlock level 2 barn and level 3 barn. 
my bad on that one guys sorry about that disinformation there admiral taylor is now working in our garrison building and uh, he's looking at, at his very important plans that he is uh, he is sorting out for us and he's basically just making us a, a ton of ton of stuff and allowing us to make even more if we so choose uh, but that's that's how you get the, the follow guys if this video has been of help to you please smash that like button click subscribe and i will see you in a future video if you enjoy garrison gold making methods then please click subscribe and get involved in the channel i will see you in the future this is erosium out